Good morning, everyone. It's Lian Sun Zhang. I come from State Key Laboratory of Green Pesticides, Guizhou University, China. It's my pleasure to give a talking uh, here for this uh, workshop. Firstly, I should uh, thank Dr. Chris and the organizer give me the chance to uh, give a topic on uh, natural uh, biological control with natural enemy. Here, I will give a topic on augmentative biocontrol using Chitragrama in China, a case study of rice stem borer. As we know, the rice stem borer, uh, just, uh, such as the Kilo Subray Salis, is one of the most e economically important rice pests worldwide. Currently, this pest is the most economically important rice pest in China. So from this picture, that is so different development states of this pest. But uh, that's the, the larvae caused the, a serious damage. Uh, for this pest, uh, the larvae can cause direct damage, such as dead, cyst, dead heart, dead head, in the different uh, development rice states. Uh, this pest also caused the indirect damage. So after the damage, the, the rice is not resistant to wind, easily cause crop losing. The pest may cause about 10% green damage annually in China, and seriously may cause near 30% green damage. For this pest uh, control, now uh, many methods have been used to control this pest, uh, such as cultural practice, uh, farmer traps, lab trap, planting, uh, resistant variety, especially for spring insecti insecticide. So now in China, so the farmer also prefer to use the uh, chemical control. As we know, uh, the uh, the rice is the main fruit in the world, especially in China. Most Chinese uh, have the fruit. Uh, of rice as the uh, the stable food, so more and more people uh, uh, prefer to use the biological control uh, uh, against the rice pests. So, for c biological control of this pest, we conduct an investigation of in the local egg pesticide of this pest in Northeast China. So finally, we found four Trichogramma species. So we can find this species. So uh, with the objective uh, screen suitable candidates for control, controlling this pest, we conduct a series of research uh, just uh, in uh, the laboratory and the field. So we can find this uh, the, the, the following uh, experiment. So let's see the natural population dynamics. So we just introduced the, uh, the rice stem borer eggs. So every uh, seven days uh, into the field. So finally, we get the result. From this figure, we can find uh, this species, the Zoponicum, the uh, absolute uh, dominant species. So now let's see the performance of Trichogramma on uh, this past act and the different uh, environment. So we can find uh, this uh, the species, Dandrolimi, so exhibit the performance and the relative low temperature but for the Japonicum, uh, it gives it a, a better performance uh, and the, the higher uh, temperature. So from this figure, we can find the Japonicum also gives it a better performance uh, under the relative, uh, relative uh, low uh, humidity. But for the Dandrolimi, also exhibit better performance, so under the uh, relative higher uh, humidity. So now let's see the performance uh, on different uh, aged egg of this pest. 
so we can find so all the Twitter grammar species prior for to the fries fries the rice borrower acts also from this table we can find the also this species Japonicum exhibits the best uh, development on the rice uh, stem X especially for the fourth day is X so after a parasitism they also can uh, success, successfully emergence emerge emerge so they also have the the shortest uh, development date now let's see uh, this uh, natural enemy, the uh, adaptation to intermediate host uh, for mass production. So now we can see the popular two uh, intermediate hosts used in China. So from this table, we can find all the species can use the uh, small x of the rest small x. So use this uh, intermediate host, we can counter all the species. So we also can try another popular intermediate host, the large X of Chinese oak silkworm. So from this result, we can find only Dendrolimae and the Chilonis can use the large X for the dominant uh, Jabonicum. So no way uh, to royal this uh, species use the large X. So now uh, we also uh, conduct some uh, experiment in outside so so now let's see we conduct another uh, experiment in outside the night uh, uh, the, the night uh, experiment so from this table we can find also this uh, the Japonicum species exhibits the best uh, pyrotism in the net uh, night the condition outside so followed by Kilonis and Dandrolimi so finally we conduct uh, uh, field experiments so on this time we also have another uh, idea so we also think about uh, the biological control efficacy also we think about uh, the cost so for this uh, for this experiment, so we first release the Japonicum, so we can find get the highest uh, pyrotism in the paddy field. So we also uh, conduct another uh, experiment, mix releasing Japonicum and the Dendrolimi because the Japonicum we uh, can culture them with the uh, small X, but for Dendrolimi we culture them with the large X. So through this way we also get the similar uh, biological control efficacy uh, with the Japonicum. So we also conduct uh, another, uh, I think this uh, interesting experiment in laboratory. So that's the exp uh, we uh, mix release both uh, natural enemy. So from this figure we can find, so after mix release uh, dendrolimi and the Japonicum, so we get the uh, best parasitism uh, compared to uh, only release uh, the dominant species uh, Japon uh, Japonicum. So I think this uh, uh, result is interesting. Uh, it will uh, support why we mix release both uh, the Trichogramma species. So okay, based on the above laboratory and the field experiment, we uh, uh, developed uh, a new back control technology of the rice borers with Trichor Grandma. So that's mixed releasing Dantrolimi right on the large X and the Japonicum right on small X to control the rice borer. So now we uh, uh, screen the dominant species, uh, also know how to uh, counter this, uh, the dominant species. So another, uh, I, I think, important, we should design the uh, capsule to release this uh, the natural enemy, especially for the pet field. So here so the picture for the traditional master to release Trichogarma. You can find we prepared the 
and bamboo pole and the paper cup. So we can feel that's difficult to, op uh, to do the operation in the field by the farmer. So uh, we also can find the uh, natural enemy in the field, especially for the lady bird and the spider have a serious disturbance to uh, our release the uh, natural enemy. So uh, according to the petty field, because we uh, know how lots of the water in the rice uh, growth uh, season, so uh, we uh, design a special capsule suitable for use in the petty field. Uh, we can just, I just saw this picture so you can uh, know this idea. So we just use the uh, water condition in the petty field. So from uh, this picture, uh, we know it, it takes uh, uh, six years to design and develop this uh, the releaser. Uh, so we can find the changing, uh, over changing uh, in the, the shape, the color, and uh, the materials. So finally, we get the, fi uh, the final version just like this, uh, the ball uh, capsule. So now let's see how to uh, rear this, uh, the dominant species with the popular uh, intermediate host. So for this Chinese uh, oak sequirum, it's a local uh, special uh, resources in northeastern China. So uh, we use this uh, intermediate host, uh, we call them uh, last the large eggs uh, to uh, uh, produce the uh, trigogramma, especially for dendrolemi. So we can find, so we, with, uh, we uh, produce the trigogramma with large eggs, so we can get a very low cost. So 40,000 was produced by the large eggs, cost only one dollar. Uh, so here, so the production line of uh, Dantru Lime use a large egg of Chinese oak sequel uh, uh, because uh, we have the time limit citation. I just saw the products done to you, okay? Uh, so based on uh, our developed technology and uh, the equipment, so currently we have the ability uh, to produce 200 billion Dantru Lime every year. So just use the one production line. <coughs> So for the absolute dominant uh, uh, species, uh, Japonicum, so no way to uh, run them with a large act. So we use the small act to produce uh, this uh, the natural enemy. But uh, we call them the small act because on one act only produce one trigogramma. But uh, with this, uh, the intermediate host, host so the cost, uh, is a little bit uh, a relative high. So we can find 4,000 watts produced by small X cost $1. So here also, so we develop uh, another production line uh, for Japanese use the small uh, X of the rest small to uh, produce. So based on the capsule, and we also produce the, uh, the two trigogramma species. So based on this capsule, we conduct the package of pyrostatic uh, host egg with the ball container. So here, so some uh, the the operation uh, the pictures. So just uh, put in both the trigogramma are uh, read by large eggs and the small eggs uh, inside of this uh, capsule. So now let's see extension and application. So as we know, the trigogramma is the uh, egg parasitoid. So it's important to do the monitoring of the past uh, occurrence. So we use the, the past uh, sexual foramen to uh, monitor the past uh, the occurrence. So from this uh, monitoring result, we can find in northeast China, so the rice, uh, the rice dam borrow have a, a clear occurrence peak, uh, especially in the late of June to 
the earlier uh, the earlier of uh, July. So that's the, in this uh, uh, the uh, during this time we release the treatment grandma we will get the good uh, biological control. So how to release uh, this naturally against uh, stem borrow? So here, so just after the, according to the monitoring results, we uh, mix release uh, both treatment grandma. So every five days, total we release uh, three times. So finally, we can get uh, the biological control result. So we can find the biological control efficacy higher than 80%. So here, so some uh, extension uh, picture in the paddy field. So I think uh, uh, that's the, after the many years uh, extension, I feel the farmer uh, prefer to this technology. So because this uh, uh, technology don't need the too much uh, the labor uh, cost. So it's suitable for the old men, the women, and the children to release the, the capsule in the paddy field. So we also developed uh, the technology uh, using the drone to release uh, the trichogramma with uh, the divide the ball uh, releaser. So here, so the application in North in China, just in Jilin province. So we can find since uh, 2018, makes the release treatment grammar against rice stem borrow over uh, 53,000 hectares every year. So total extending about uh, 1.0 million hectares. So all costs supported by uh, the government. So here we should uh, notice, uh, I think the technology has uh, a clear advantage. The uh, uh, product price is about $32 per hectare, so uh, including for uh, 150,000 watts and uh, 45 degradable releasers. So for this uh, technology, now also have extend to other provinces in China, especially for South uh, China. So here uh, I give a simple sum uh, summary for this uh, technology. So firstly, we screen uh, two dominant uh, trichogramma species. For dendrolimae, we uh, culture them with uh, large eggs. So for absolute uh, natural enemy species, upon ponipi, we raise them with uh, small eggs of, so of rice uh, moss eggs. So we also divide uh, 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 the releaser, ball releaser suitable the paddy field. So after uh, the, uh, the monitoring by the sex foreman forum of the rice uh, stem borrowers, so we release uh, the trichogramma uh, with the uh, hand or uh, releasing them with uh, the drone. So finally, uh, we can get uh, good uh, uh, biological control uh, against uh, the rice stem borrowers. So here, I think it's uh, also amongst another uh, biological control of, for army worm in Africa. Uh, Africa. So uh, in, 2000, in two, uh, 2017, I have a chance to visit Zambia. So on that time, I found for army worm is a serious uh, uh, the damage in Zambia. So on that time, so I collect uh, the local egg per store. Finally, we get uh, uh, one trichogramma species and also telenomius and another chelonius species. So we also conduct another uh, research we found. So that's the, after the, for army worm emergence, they lay uh, uh, the eggs uh, have a long time also uh, lay uh, the X current different layer the skill so we can find this from this picture so totally we can find so more than 50 percent uh, the X uh, covering the scene on or nothing the uh, no skill on the cover 
on the, uh, the egg mass. So that's to be done this result. So we use the Twitter grammar to control the uh, for army worm eggs. So from this figure we can find. So for this, uh, the egg mass, so covering thin the scale, we can get a good result. So that's the using the Twitter grammar. For uh, another natural enemy, for Kilonius, we also find this uh, it's a good natural enemy agent. So from this uh, table we can find. So we can uh, use this uh, natural enemy against uh, for army worm eggs. So one uh, natural enemy, one wasp can parasitize so more than 1,005 uh, for army worm eggs. So now we also can produce this uh, egg parasitoid use the uh, intermediate host rice moss eggs. So here I saw this result for you. So hopefully in fu future we can use this uh, the egg parasitoid. So with production uh, low cost, so use them to control for army worm in uh, Africa. So hopefully we can get l more uh, assistance uh, uh, by FAO in future. So we hopefully we have a chance to control Africa uh, uh, for army works with this uh, technology. So also welcome uh, everyone to visit Guizhou University in China. So in future, so hopefully we have cooperation with each other. So that's all. Thanks for your attention.